I'm here with Erica Lee, who is making her Enjoy Wrestling debut. It's going to be an exciting night. What are you hoping to accomplish? <clears throat> People forget that I'm freaking tall. Do you understand? I'm big. I'm a big lady wrestler. And I just want to remind everybody I can do big lady wrestler stuff. I'm not just the pee pee poo poo lady. I'm not just the gummy bear kid. I'm a big lady wrestler. That's range, you know? So. Uh, no, 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 no. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're going to cut my no, interview. I'm no. a director. I did the cut. The production's here. The director's here. He has spoken. And I'm here to say, no, this is about me. And me saying, I am now a big wrestler. So. The biggest wrestler. The biggest wrestler, Big Zig? Big Zig. Big Zig. Honk, 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 honk! What are you talking about? Don't what? you see how big I am? What I'm talking about is you and I, yeah, we're gonna go bigger. down and really find who is the bigger wrestler. Hey, hey! Cut! Cut! That means cut. Stop rolling. Hey, what's that? Fans, welcome in here. Enjoy wrestling. Canned Heat Season 2. Rich Bokini alongside Veda Scott. Big night of action on the way. We're going to see Facade battle Trey Lamar. That's on the way, but well, I'm really excited to see Ziggy Hyam and Erica Lee after what just occurred moments ago, Veda. Absolutely. Again, just a, a match that when I see it on paper, I'm just like, ooh. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm excited for that one. And uh, that, that's why I'm so uh, so happy to be here uh, with you, Rich, today for uh, Enjoy uh, enjoy Wrestling Canned Heat Episode 3. Honk, honk, I guess, right? That's what Eric Lee said. Honk, honk. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Explain to me what uh, what Erica's deal is. She uh, seems to be in her own world. Where, where would you like me to begin? Uh, anywhere you'd like. Help me out here. Well, she is the current Pro Wrestling Magic Champion. The crowd is chanting a pee pee poo poo, uh, which that, you know, it's a lot. You'll have to go back on Twitter for that. Uh, she's a gummy bear kid. She does candy reviews. Are these not all completely connected, sensible things? I think it makes perfect sense. It's Erica Lee, baby. Completely sensible, all connected, and uh, I'm excited to see her in action as the production makes their way out to the ring, and uh, well. So now, okay, Ziggy Heim stole Edith Surreal 
Bill's mask last season. But, but Ziggy had been wearing that mask like a like a hat, a, a trophy hat before. Now she just made her interest wearing the mask. Like that is it's the ultimate disrespect. After coming up short in the uh, the opening round of the Enjoy Cup oh, tournament, yeah. Ziggy and uh, Edith, Edith Surreal is an exciting matchup. But as you said, she stole Edith's mask and. Uh, that wasn't the end of things, though. I, this is a, a rivalry that I think is going to be an ongoing thing here because Edith's going to measure a revenge man. Yeah, absolutely. The bird and the bee were able to attack Ziggy, uh, cut off a bit of her hair, give her a free haircut, ungrateful, uh, because she's still pretty pissed about it and it, mad enough to bring in Derek Dillinger to have her back. And a little bit of gamesmanship at the outset here tonight when... When Erica was uh, was being interviewed there, I mean, oh, there you go with the the clipboard again, the uh, the clacker. What do you call it? The it director. Was, uh, clapboard. Yeah, the clapboard. But uh, you know, somebody's trying to uh, you know talk to Meg, become familiar uh, with to the fans here, and uh, of course, the production has to come and bully their way through. Okay, it looks like it's gonna be a heavyweight battle. The gummy bear kid, huh? Yeah, yeah, she does um she does candy reviews on Twitter sometimes. Erica Lee obviously with the uh, the height advantage here, but Ziggy Hyam is tough. Ooh. Shoulder tackle sends Ziggy down. There's no cut in a wrestling match. Big Erica. You know, Erica Lee never at a loss for new nicknames for herself. Constantly uh, the, evolving. The, the Technicolor Technico, I think, is uh, probably one of my favorites. Whoa. And manhandling. Ziggy Hyam tossing her around the ring like nothing. Ziggy doesn't look like she knows what, what hit her at first, but able to dodge a bullet that time. Trying to go for the body slam, and Erica's just too big, too tall. Whoa. Went for the pub handle, but Ziggy fought her way out of it. Erica Lee finally with some leverage. Oh. Dillinger hopping up on the ring apron. Ooh. Saw that coming a mile away. Going after the hamstring and uh, now Ziggy in control. Dillinger right in Eric Lee's face too. Well, now right on Eric Lee's neck. With the referee tied up. His attention turned to Ziggy Hyam. I guess whatever it takes to gain an advantage in the matchup, Ziggy will do it. No surprise there. And a power slam cover. And Erica out at two. Yeah, this is going to be a problem, I think, for, for Ziggy because Erica is so tall, it's tough for her to get any kind of leverage on, on really any kind of move. That was a power slam, but didn't have a whole lot behind it. So she's going to have to be innovative and creative, I think, to, to find what's going to work against a much taller opponent. Oh, that worked. Brought Erica right back down to the mat. Going for a cover. And a kick out of two after the neck breaker. Ziggy. Looks like she's getting a little, a little miffed. Right back into the cover. And again, a kick out. Bina, how tough is it when you're in the ring with somebody that has maybe a, a foot of height on you? Does that really uh, add, add to the complexity of an match? It does, and that's a pretty common situation for me to be in. Uh, you know, obviously, the, the, not just the height advantage, that means they oftentimes have the strength advantage as well. And it's, it's just difficult sometimes to get, say you want to go for a submission, but someone has those long limbs, it's a lot more difficult to lock it on. Ziggy with a running forearm smash in the corner. And now some momentum from the other side. Running knee. And surprise, she doesn't go for the cover there. No, maybe want to extend this just a little bit more. Again, this is Erica Lee making her Enjoy Wrestling debut. And Ziggy 
you know, doesn't, doesn't, wants to send her out with a loss. Erica able to turn the tables oh. on. Samoan drop. Erica Lee trying to find something to turn the match back into her favor. May have found it. And Dillinger there to cut her off at the pass. Grab the leg. I'm not sure if the official saw that. But Ziggy quickly back in control. And now just stop it away. They're not cheering for you now, are they? They're not cheering for you now, are they? They're not. Ziggy trying to go for a big right hand. That was blocked. And again, Erica able to shove her away. Oh, wow! Like a big tree trunk. Erica again. Oh! Ziggy right into the ropes and a huge big boot to the grill. That's what I'm talking about with those long limbs and that height advantage. So much leverage behind it. Ooh, I think that, was that to the to the throat? I, I think so, I think Ziggy had her thumbs out. And uh, now it is Erica trying to catch her breath. Ziggy continues to run her mouth. And Erica Lee's in trouble. Ziggy taking some time though. Uh -oh. Going for a choke slam? Well there's that height advantage again for Erica, a couple of well-placed elbows, and from the buckles. Oh. Dumped Ziggy right on her knees. Oh, what a kick! Cover! Kick out at two, Dillinger again. Yeah, he's all the way up on the apron. Oh, and he paid the price! Ziggy from behind, trying to set up for the waist lock. Standing switch and a German suplex. The tide shifting back in Erica's favor. The Technicolor Technical, the Gummy Bear Kid. Hold on, Ziggy. No, hang on. Ziggy has the ref. And look out for Dillinger. Oh, oh no, come on. Right to the face. I don't know how the official didn't hear that. But Ziggy is in charge. And looking for the Mazel Tov cocktail. Look out. Nails it. Come on now, that's a cheap win. Cut, says Derek Dillinger. Thank you for that. After being embarrassed the last time we saw her having a, a lock of that, that hair cut off, Ziggy maybe sending a, a bit of a message to Edith Surreal. This is what I can do to Erica Lee. What am I gonna do to you? And Erica doesn't know what hit her. And Dillinger running back to get the, that mask. The property of Edith, of, uh, Edith Surreal. Her jaws jacked up after that shot from Dillinger. We still have more to come though, Vader. We're gonna take a time out, but when we come back, Trey Lamar is in action against Facade. I'm excited for this. Me too, it just keeps on coming. This is Can Heat season two. Fans, thanks so much for joining us for season two of Enjoy Wrestling's Canteen. Some of our great sponsors, including Badamo's Pizza, Steel City, Speed and Custom, Spring Hill Brewing, and Veda, many more. Right, we're also sponsored by Mesa Media. Special, special thank you to Tiptoe with Tulo. That's found at twitch.tv slash tiptoe with Tulo. Actually, all of our sponsors, all of our fans, we couldn't do this without you. Thank you so much. If you enjoy Enjoy Wrestling, then get yourself an Enjoy Wrestling shirt and show the world that you enjoy Enjoy Wrestling. Go to enjoy-wrestling.com and get your Enjoy Wrestling merch today. Enjoy Wrestling would like to thank The Clement for hosting this taping of Canned Heat. 
The Clement is a renovated historical church located just north of Pittsburgh in Trenton, Pennsylvania. With its catering kitchen, sound equipment, high-speed internet and copious on-site parking, the Clement provides a unique and aesthetically pleasing option for any event. Visit theclement.com for more information or look them up on Airbnb to book a one-of-a-kind indoor camping experience. What's up, Enjoy Wrestling fans? It's the Supermark Nick Tulo. And if you like Enjoy Wrestling as much as I do, make sure you tune in every Friday for the Canned Heat Season 2 Happy Hour Rewatch, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Crack open a beverage, put on your Crocs, and go to twitch.tv slash tiptoe with Tulo and enjoy wrestling with Nick. Whoa! Give her an RKO! Give her oh, an RKO! That was it! What? You three have been wreaking absolute havoc here at Enjoy Wrestling. Would you care to explain yourselves? Us three? You're looking at the greatest triumvirate in professional wrestling. Sterling, Lawless, and Grimm, LLC, coming here to dominate the universe and win the Odyssey Championship. I could not think of a better group to put together to take over this terrible promotion. Mr. Grimm, thanks for being on board. Odyssey means a long journey. This is a misnomer. This will be quick, but it won't be clean. Oh my, no. <laughs> Settled after that uh, that exchange there. Yeah, um, I'm not. I, I think of myself as someone who has a pretty good sense of humor, but I'm not really sure it was funny. Way to get yourself unbooked as well, calling it a a, a burgeoning promotion, uh, trying to slag the uh, the fine folks here at Enjoy Wrestling. making his debut here in Pittsburgh for Enjoy Wrestling, uh, brought to the ring by Danny Moe. And uh, apropos, the nickname, the Neon Ninja. Whoa, right here in front of his hometown crowd. Honestly though, you, he, Posad is from Pittsburgh. You wouldn't know it though, because he has wrestled literally all over the world. I'm sure we'll get into that. But I mean, like when I say all over the world, I mean all over the world. Going back to that uh, that exchange there with Mr. Grimm and Lawless, uh, you know they were talking about the Enjoy Odyssey, and we've mentioned before the uh, the special prize that's in the briefcase. Still waiting to see what that's all about, but it is going to be a journey until we get to that point. Trey Lamar, Facade, and the entire roster here at Enjoy Wrestling. Everybody gunning towards the Enjoy Odyssey, their eyes on that. First things first, expecting a high-flying, fast-paced affair in this one as Lamar and Facade get ready to go. Absolutely, we're, we're lucky. We're, uh, we're lucky that the ceilings are so high here in this venue. I have seen both Facade and Trey Lamar do absolutely incredible things. Uh, Facade is at home on the ropes as, as much as he is in the ring. It's incredible. Inside the Clement here in Pittsburgh in the Steel City. And you mentioned Facade. Well, that's one way to, to limber up, huh? Yeah, Facade has wrestled in Mexico, Malaysia, Thailand, Singapore, Russia, all over Canada. 
He stayed in India for six months where he was a coach, and also he's wrestled extensively in Japan for DDT, Kai and Tai Jojo, Gato Move. Basically, he's been everywhere. Places that you didn't even know there was pro wrestling, Fasad has wrestled there. You mentioned the time that he spent in India six months as a coach at uh, the Great Khali's Academy. Spent some time, I believe, with uh, with Ethan HD, who uh, spent some time there. Remember the, uh, the American guns out on the West Coast in the, the Seattle area. But I mean, of course, as we go over the accolades of facade, that's not to say that Trey Lamar is any slot. Well, he's from the Hall of Fame city, of course, right? Absolutely. Uh, trained originally by Johnny Gargano and Candice LeRae. As we heard, uh, he's now representing and training with Alex Shelley very extensively. I mean, those are. Those are some pretty elite level coaches. Alex Shelley, I think, is a guy that maybe doesn't get the accolades that he deserves at time. But uh, I think you're going to start to hear a lot more about him. Oh, hold on here. Quick two count by Lamar. But as you start to see uh, more and more competitors come through that have been trained by guys like Shelley, I, I, I think maybe you'll... I don't know. I'm not, I'm not trying to well, knock no, his name down. You know what I'm saying, though, right? Exactly. Absolutely. Well, he's someone who... So many wrestlers today uh, looked up to as an example, uh, especially in independent wrestling. But but the interesting thing about Alex Shelley is that he remains entrenched in the business today. Like you said, coaching people, not just wrestling on his own, but coaching people, guiding people, mentoring more and more young wrestlers. So yeah, his influence is going to extend far beyond his own active career. And that's pretty incredible. Facade trying to hang on to the wrist lock, but a nice counter by Lamar. And now barring the left arm. Trey Lamar in control here. One thing that Passat has that Trey Lamar does not is Danny Moe on the outside. Looking for the full Nelson. Quick turnaround. Whoa. Looks like a game of Twister. Backslide. And a two count. Lamar able to trip up the Neon Ninja. And it seems like at least in the early going here, both are trying to keep the other grounded, which is probably smart, right? Right. You don't want to let either of these two guys fly around if you're the opponent. No, no, no. And if you if you can keep this as close to the mat as possible, you know, at least it'll be even for a while. A while. And that, that is the I think that's the caveat, right? A while. Because eventually somebody's gonna get an advantage and this oh. thing's gonna this thing's gonna crank up at some point. Whoa. What agility by Facade, but he's leaving himself exposed. Or maybe not. So quick. Lamar again trying to... He's approaching very hesitantly. Like he's not quite sure what to do here. Missed with the kick, and Lamar got tied up on the top turnbuckle. Facade from the outside. Springboards off the ropes, deep arm drag. And that's what I was talking about before. Once Facade gets on that rope, he's like an entirely different pro wrestler. Chin first into the buckle. And Lamar giving Facade a chance to catch his breath. Not too much time though, that forearm connected. Whoa. Reversal on the Irish whip. Facade still kind of favoring the jaw a little bit. Lamar sends him up and over. Right back in, Facade. Whoa! Springboard oh. drop kick connects. No cover though, right for a, a, a headlock. Yeah, I was expecting cover there as well, but yeah, has the uh, more of a chin lock cranked in. And Facade now looking for some leverage on the mat. Lamar trying to figure out what to do next. And Fasad, yeah, he, we saw that very innovative interior second row springboard dropkick followed up now with a front chancery. So it's just a, it's just a meshing of styles. Lamar connected with a big boot. Facade a little staggered. I think that shot earlier on, you keep uh, you keep seeing Facade checking his he's checking his teeth to make sure everything's yeah. still in place. Maybe a bit of a distraction there for him. And again, oh, almost. Uh, Went mouth first into the buckle, but caught himself. Lamar, I think, was going for a, oh, a backbreaker. Oh. The flexibility of Facade negated that first attempt, but 
That lung blower connected. And Lamar into the cover. A kick out of two. Danny Moe on the outside with some instructions yeah, for uh, for Passat. Yeah, trying to, I think he's trying to help him regroup a little bit here. Oh. Main event this time here on Enjoy Wrestling Canned Heat from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It is Trey Lamar and Char. Right, the crowd has made their allegiances known now. You know, I think that uh, Facade had maybe lost his mouthpiece. We saw Danny just uh, yeah. put it back in place. Maybe that's what he was looking for. Nice snap suplex by Lamar. Holds on. And trying to hook the leg. When you see wrestlers wear mouthpieces, like I, I wear a mouthguard oh. personally, although I don't have like what you would call like an MMA influence style, but a mouthguard is helpful. It helps with, with head impact. It can help. Uh, Hold on, right into the cover. Ooh. And a kick out of two. With any sort of facial impact, I mean, it's just an extra layer of protection that can kind of just keep you together. And uh, when you see someone like Facade wearing that mouth guard, although you might not expect it, it means that he's he's thinking ahead to potential injuries he might face in the match. I mean, that's smart. Does it make it harder to breathe at all? So, uh, mouth guard innovations have come a long way. They make a lot of them right now that are very, very easy to speak and breathe in, but that wasn't always the case, you're right. Knee to the gut as Facade now laying the kicks in. Lamar a little staggered. Whoa. do si do Springboard oh, kick and whoa. Lamar crashed down to the floor. And it's exactly like you were saying, Rich. Facade just needed that one little opening and he's ready to fly. Danny Moe firing him up. And Fasan. Here he comes. Up Whoa. to the top, quick like a cat. And oh, come on now. That's uncalled for. Oh! Well, Fasan turned his attention to Danny Moe for a second to make sure she was all right. And, yeah, and uh, uh, yeah. Danny Mo, you know, she she's a wrestler herself. I've actually wrestled her before. But but tonight she's acting in her capacity as a manager for this side. She was not involved in the match. That was completely uncalled for. Trey Lamar took advantages. Facade. Made sure that Danny was all right and uh, that kick connected. Flushing out of the top. Oh, no look. Springboard off the top. Here's Facade. Oh, oh, good God! Plants Lamar! Not able to make the cover, though. That was just sort of out of desperation and adrenaline. I think if Facade would have been able to roll over and make that cover, it could have been over, but we'll never know. He's just trying to regroup here. Crowd really fired up here tonight in Pittsburgh. Both been trying to get to a fighting position. Facade is up oh. first. Oh, huge chop. Oh, but Trey Lamar fires right back with one of his own. Trading forearms in the oh. center of the ring. And now another big chop, wow. Another. Oh. Big combination strikes from Facade. Oh. Lamar caught that one. Shot right to the kidneys. Lamar lining something up here. Whoa. Ducked by Facade. Oh! First kick, check. Blocked the first yeah. kick. Hold on here into the cover. Not enough. That second kick really did some damage, huh? And Facade needs to watch out here. He can't let himself get too frustrated. 
know, it takes a tremendous amount of, of focus to pull off some of the maneuvers that he's able to. And if he lets his emotions run too high, I don't know. Trey Lamar turned it around. Back, back elbow connected. Oh. Facade able to dig deep, rolls through. Big uppercut. And Lamar a little dizzy on the turnbuckles. Whoa. Facade again. Whoa, what balance. And a heel kick. Good God. Facade may have his nope. spot picked. No! Cover! Oh! Not enough. Almost got it with that springboard cutter. So, so, so close. Facade looking around, surveying the scene. Seems like he's going to try to decide what to do next. Could have Lamar dead to rights. You don't want to slow down the attack right here. Facade with momentum off the ropes. Oh. Lamar catches the leg. Wow. Oh, oh and a kick. Facade again. Whoa. Missed that time. Pele kick. Oh. By Desperation maneuver. And the door is swung open for Lamar, climbs to the top. Here we go. Whoa. The elbow off the top. More than halfway across the ring, connected, but no cover. He's got something else in mind here. Kick right to the back of the skull. That's got to be enough. No! Facade oh. kicks out, rolls away, tries to create some distance. Danny Moe on the outside, firing oh. everyone up. Facade's got to feel the vibrations of her just pounding on the canvas. Maybe that'll motivate him a little bit. Wait, hold on. What does Lamar have? Danny, uh... It's a spray paint. Oh! Now, hold on. What is Danny Moe doing? Oh, wait Whoa. a minute here. Danny Moe, rope walk crossbody. Now, the official's allowing this for reasons I don't quite understand, but I, I suppose after putting his hands on Danny earlier on, turnabout's fair play. And Fasada, uh, Trey Lamar had grabbed that spray paint. Stop oh. Tope! Fasada's starting to feel it. Back in his comfort zone. Looking to lock in the coordinates. Another rope walk, and nobody home. Oh. Went for that uh, rope walk coast to coast. Trey Lamar got out of the way, though. And what's he gonna mind here? Setting up perhaps for Boston Crab. Trying to turn facade over. Well, he's got the knee in the back. Right, this is like a a full lion tamer version of a crab. Right up high on Facade's neck. Nope, Danny Moe has Facade's hand. Referee in good position. Lamar was able to pull Facade That's back into the center of the ring. That's it. Uh. To me, that match got a little dirtier than I thought it would. Yeah, I mean, it, it started off pretty even, but once that, once Danny Mo came into play, I mean, I guess it becomes personal. Victory here for Trey Lamar. What's going up next? Uh, next week, I'm excited to see Billy Dixon in action, and uh, this is going to be huge. The Fest Wrestling Championship is on the line, and he's going to be here, Veda.
And yes, I can never get enough Effie versus Willow Nightingale for the Fest Championship. Come on. The Neon Ninja. I, yeah, I don't blame you. Well, anymore. Like, I don't the, blame you. Like, what? What is with the green? Pink, blue. Green's out. It's not even the green. It's the whole neon look. It needs to go. Go ninja, go get that ugly get color away. out of here. Get, get the vomit out. Nobody wants anymore. You gotta go with the pink, you gotta go with the blue. Danny, Obviously, we Danny, know what we're talking your, about. Help your boy Danny out. Danny Mo. Danny, help yes, your boy yes. out because but she's in green too. Uh, he, the, they're, I can't, we can't fix can't. that. No one can fix that. You know what? No one can, I'm, I'm I, done. I can't. I can't. <laughs> And uh, once again, the runway offering their um, unsolicited opinions on the various looks of the Enjoy roster. Uh, I, I don't think they've seen me yet. I don't. I don't know if they would like. But it, it, it doesn't matter. Rich, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Great week this week. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun here, and uh, we have so much more to come. We have the Enjoy Odyssey on the way. But next week, as we said, Effie is here. The Fest Wrestling title is on the line. For Veda Scott, I'm Rich Bokini. We'll see you next week. So long, everyone.